What have I done? Look at me, Mary. Th I mean, what have I done? Express my pride. I mean, I'm a black, queer, non-binary person. My existence is a resistance. I dress like this every day, and my middle name's Elizabeth, so a lot. I think pride is a politic. I think pride is an ideology. So I express my pride in simply being. Nothing's ever done in the past year. <laughs> well, in the last year, uh, I watched my husband run for president, which is never something I thought that uh, I would do in my life. And I did it openly and authentically. What have I done in the last year? My goodness, what could I have done in the last year to show my pride? Oh, I know, I went to the impeachment hearings! And I was there reporting, perhaps, and being a visible protest for LGBTQ people. I was so proud to stand up and say, we're here, we're queer, where's the cafeteria? Area. There's been a lot of cultural stuff. I supported local queer artists, I read Audre Lorde, and I got a noise complaint for playing Dua Lipa too loudly. I have strived to live authentically and express myself fully. I wore my heels on a Tuesday afternoon. I wore my crop tops on a Sunday morning. One of the things that I, I've tried to do this year to show my pride is to amplify the voices around me, especially the voices of LGBTQ people of color and trans women of color in particular. And I have a, a great pride flag here behind me, which is a reminder that the LGBTQ communities are just that. There is no one monolithic LGBTQ person or LGBTQ identity. I mean, I'll say this, I'm always expressing my pride, but I mean, overall, I'm a part of the ballroom culture and it's heavily occupied by youth and young adults. I'm a house father myself and I have kids, so one thing that I try to do is mentor my kids and try to make sure they make better decisions. Recently, I've been celebrating pride by getting out to the streets and marching for black lives. It's been really wonderful to stand alongside my black brothers and sisters and non-binary siblings during this time of revolution. Well, I uploaded this tiny video during January titled, I am coming out and it only shook half the world. <laughs> I was born in the wrong body, which means that I am transgender. But at the end of the day, I am me. We don't need labels. I mean, the support that I felt once I came out has really changed my life because it showed me that there are so many good people out there. I came out as a queer man on national television. That's probably number one. I like telling people that early on in my sets because it lets them know three things about me. Number one, I am queer. Number two, in a relationship. Number three, it's interracial. Number two is I always made sure to point out that I'm not only queer, I'm also black. So making sure people understand pride is intersectional. In the last year, I've expressed my pride by sharing A Strange Loop, my big black and queer ass American Broadway show, off Broadway at Playwrights Horizons. I was part of the latest season of Are You the One from MTV and dated as a trans person with the first ever all sexually fluid television cast in the history of US television. That was pretty f***ing cool, I'm not gonna lie. I've then been trying to use my voice. I'm very vocal about my top surgery and my top surgery resources. I'm a big advocate for the fact that non-binary identities don't have to look any one way. I might be androgynous, but that does not mean that I am the epitome of non-binary. I'm just cut. This is how I feel comfy. Well, I like to think that anytime I put art out into the world, being myself unabashedly, um, that is a personal expression of my pride. I've expressed my pride this year by portraying Alice on Good Trouble, but now I have queer Asian girls of all ages in my DMs telling me that they feel seen, and that means the world. Well, in the last year, to express my pride, I created Gay Fat Friend to show people that no matter what you look like, you can still have fun. In the last year to celebrate Pride, I have kept up with my podcast, Las Culturistas, which I would describe as aggressively queer. And I have, how do I say this, have had sex with men, so. I express my pride by telling stories from the past, stories that mobilize people, and stories that give people the courage to be themselves and fight back. 
You know, one, one of the best things about being the first out elected official to run for president was seeing how many people, I think, uh, took pride in what we were doing. Uh, you know, I never thought that a uh, husband and, and run for president were, were both going to be things in my life at the same time. But we did it together in so many ways. Mm -hmm.